Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are in the world. This is going to be a message labeled as a message for December 16th because I'm posting it in time for the 16th where I am in the world. But depending on where you are, 16th may have come and gone. You might not see this for a few weeks, months, years, whatever it may be. So I'm setting the intention this be a message for you for the next 24 hours from whenever you happen to see it. Happy birthday to all the December 16th babies out there. And happy birthday to you if it happens to be your birthday on whatever day you may stumble upon this message. Alrighty, my dears. I'm going to move you all just a little bit closer. Now, the card you guys have coming up, I always say this with this card. Relax, hear me out. Before you start coming at me with your pitchforks and torches, we have the Six of Cups. Now, unfortunately, uh, Six of Cups gets typecast because a lot of people are used to watching uh, Tarot for Love and Romance. So Six of Cups kind of gets typecast here as like, a, uh, you know, like, like an ex coming back from the past. Now, don't get me wrong. That could absolutely positively be happening for some of you. There could definitely be an ex that is resurfacing. However, some people get very upset when they see this card because they think that like this terrible karmic person is resurfacing. And that's not the case. Um, it doesn't have to be someone who ripped out your heart. It doesn't have to be a terrible karmic nightmare of a situation uh, resurfacing. It could be a very pleasant situation. It could be uh, an ex wanting to reconcile, yes, that could be possible. It could be a childhood friend. It could be someone you used to work with back in the day and they've just been curious what you've been up to. It could be someone that you caught their eye, but at that time they couldn't pursue you. They couldn't be in a relationship with you and they never really forgot about you and their life might be uh, a little bit more calm. They might finally be single and they might be like, hey, I wonder... If this person is still single, I wonder what if they're what they're up to. I wonder if they want to meet for coffee or get together. So it could be any uh, scenario or situation of somebody resurfacing uh, from the past or coming back from the past. Now, this card is not limited to that. This could also be um, like nostalgia, thinking about the past, thinking about childhood. Um, there could be a sense of innocence, sincerity. A genuine connection, pure connection with others without motive, um, without any kind of superficial uh, energy or any like any like without pretension, just pure connection. And so some of you may be manifesting this kind of connection with others uh, or you may be dealing with someone who is just very sincere, very pure uh, very gentle with you, or you may be in that vibe in interacting with others. Intuitively, and this is coming in intuitively, and keep in mind, this is a general reading, so you all might be experiencing this energy in different ways or different areas of your life, but intuitively, the vibe that I'm getting as this card is coming up on this day uh, for the collective I'm feeling a sense of like inner child. I feel like being connected to the inner child and I feel like making the inner child safe. This energy of keeping the inner child safe. So maybe there's something that's happening that you don't feel safe. Uh, whether or not uh, anybody sees it or agrees with you or not or it could just be that your inner child is not ready to be in certain environments or certain situations or around certain people. And so I feel some of you are doing something to uh, help your inner child feel safe. And as the inner child is feeling safe, like you're feeling a more, uh, more desire to do things in your life, like experience things, go places, meet people, um, and just, open up to uh, playing like playful energy some of you have been doing a lot of shadow work a lot of releasing a lot of healing a lot of clearing a lot of stripping away and I feel with the six of cups it's like 
okay, now it's time, like almost like a soul retrieval, like you're, you're claiming a, a part of yourself. And you're like, okay, what are we going to do now moving forward? What do you want to do now moving forward? So I feel there's a sense of coming into wholeness, coming into completion uh, by connecting with the inner child and, and kind of having experiences that you've always wanted to have. But uh, you, that inner child was like scared or timid or shy or uh, insecure and wasn't ready to be out there in that way. So for whatever reason, intuitively, I feel strong inner child energy around this card. And I feel a sense of uh, like getting grounded and experiencing life, uh, doing things that are uh, fun, doing things that are, are playful. Um, and for some of you, this could be kind of activated by being around children. Uh, maybe you don't have kids or your kids are grown and off on their own and maybe something is happening here where unexpectedly you're spending time around children maybe you're getting together with family for holidays and you have relatives who are young who are little um or whatever it might be some of you are going to find yourself unexpectedly around kids and there's going to be this awakening there's going to be this sense of like remembering when you were a kid and remembering your experiences. And so for some of you, this inner child thing might come very much out of nowhere. It might be like, whoa, where is this coming from? But, you know, uh, spirit always knows what we need and spirit always brings us what we need. And so there's this, there's a sense of connection. You may want to check out uh, the weekly forecasts if you haven't already. Those are linked in the description. I am working on the weekly forecasts for the coming week. Uh, the 2023 forecasts are all done finally. And those are posted and there's a link in the description if you want to check out the forecasts for 2023. And if you'd like to schedule a private reading with me, there's a link in the description that will take you to the scheduling page, calendly.com slash amethystangelite, and you can schedule a private reading with me there. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. I hope you all have a fabulous day ahead. Take care and be well, my darlings. Bye.